trial attorney, Matthew Barhoma. Matthew, um, just quick thoughts on this idea of using a booklet, you know, uh, to show graphic photos to the jury. There's an issue, again, they didn't want them up on the big board because uh, I guess one of the streaming services was putting them out there, they didn't like that. Um, there's always a concern about these, these, these types of photos. You don't want them, you don't want them in front of the jury too much but you certainly want them to see them, important part, the prosecution's case. What do you think about this idea of creating these booklets that they can leaf through to see these photos? Um, you know, I, I think that um, th th it must have been assessed that this was, <clears throat> excuse me, the most reasonable way to proceed, but it's very prejudicial towards the defendant. And the reason is, you know, the jury members could sit there, observe it, and really take it in. I was just thinking, you know, when we were just reporting on it, they're flipping back. Oh, they're just taking in all kinds of information about this. Uh, that is much more than the momentary instance they get it up in court when it's up and we're talking about it and then it's down. So uh, certainly, you know, definitely resonates a little bit more uh, with the jury and good for the, def uh, for the prosecution for being able to get away with this. But that could be an appealable issue, can it not, Matthew, in terms of, I know you deal with appeals a lot, um, because you don't want it to be so readily accessible to the jury for them to be able to, as you said, flip through these photos as many times as they want. That, to me, suggests perhaps it's overly prejudicial. That's been an issue raised by the defense, just the sheer volume of the photos and graphic photos in this case. Yeah, you know, that's that's exactly why I'm thinking about the level of possible prejudice to this defendant. Um, it, it is an appealable issue, but one thing also here on appeal uh, to consider is cumulative error and the fact that there's just so much evidence here. There's just it's such an overburdensome of evidence that I don't know if the fact that, that this information sits with this jury is the reason why they find him guilty. I think that they would have probably found him guilty nonetheless. Yeah, that, I mean, the, the evidence at this if, point. When they do. It, yeah. it appears overwhelming at this point. I mean, I, they, again, yeah. we even have another week to go of evidence. So, you know, this is not certainly looking good for the defense. Um, I want to talk quickly about some of the video that this uh, jury was able to see of the defendant. You know, he spoke words, and, and I think they were clearly has shown already by this uh, prosecution that he was lying uh, to police, lied to just about everyone uh, throughout, not even just about this murder, going back even further before he decided to do what he did or allegedly do what he did. But really what I thought spoke volumes, Matthew, was his body language. Once the police told him, look, we know what happened here. He didn't come out and, and admit to anything, but I think his body language spoke volumes. Absolutely. His reaction to a lot of these things speaks volumes. And it's very transparent. You can see it just by looking at him. Um, and, you know, I think it's because he feels like it's a web of lies. It's not just one lie. It's a number of them. And so um, that really could add up um, and, and, you know, could, could really be altering his, his psyche as he's answering these questions. Yeah, exactly. And I think, you know, what I saw was that just the weight of the entire thing came down on him. It almost seemed like a sigh of relief. Oftentimes when these murderers finally get caught, sometimes it's a relief to them because it's just so much to carry with you. But, you know, we'll have to wait and see how all that plays out. All right, Matthew, stand by. We're going to take a break right now. Coming up next, we're going to take a closer look at the key moments from that interrogation room of Chandler Halderson. You're watching Court TV, your front row seats, Jeff.